Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. Today, we're going to be crafting. That's... Like we did on Thursdays. <laughs> That's right, folks. Uh, continuing with our Western Wild West theme, tonight we're going to be making a couple of totem poles. Mine I started... Is more, his is going to be more like an obelisk or... Right. M mine's going to be a little bit more Cthulhu-themed to go with uh, some of our other games. But I basically started with a couple of pieces of foam core, cut them out into a slight mound shape, and cut a hole for these posts so that they'll be nice and sturdy. Hot glued them together. Again, you're going to want to let the foam core glue, I just use regular PVA glue, and press them under some Dungeons & Dragons books for about 24 hours in between some wax paper so they didn't ruin my books. Just so that they dry without mm. warping. And he's going to be using um, this uh, block of Sculpey that I have. He's going to be making a more uh, Native American traditional actual totem pole. Whereas I will be making a more Cthulhu based obelisk. I don't know if you can see what I got going on there. I'm going to be gluing the octopus head and make the bat wings look like they're coming out from bottom. I'm going to have a bat, not a, yeah, not a bat. I, I was um, looking a for frog a, a frog and a goat, and I was going to stack them on top of one but another. even though he kind of found them, he didn't I, I couldn't find the goat. Yeah, but and, he found the frog, but and, he didn't want to get it. Yeah, it was just not worth it. Uh, if, you know, even I, it, though the package it was in was a thing, something that we could have used. I will be using... My favorite, which is paper clay, and I will be to using build up the obelisk. He will be using the my Sculpey. favorite, which is guts. paper clay. One issue I realized is would the cooking clay harm the wood in any way, or the cooking process? process? We, we will find out. That's uh, oh, you didn't test it? No, I, I, I didn't. I, I, I used just about all of this. Also, how do you know basket. the cooking is going to process this Ooh. or melt the glue? Ooh, good point. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably have to uh, wrap that in maybe aluminum foil or something like that. Isn't aluminum foil make an otter? Uh, no, it, it will. conduct the we'll, heat? Maybe, or, or something. We're going to have to, that's a good point. Maybe I might have to cut that back off. Mm. But we'll find out. Hopefully it won't melt in the oven and, and ruin the pan that we choose to use. I almost have a feeling that it will. I can always just cut it off first. And redo it. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it will melt the the hot glue. I know that for a fact now that I think about it. And I probably should have. Uh, you know what? Uh, I got an idea. I can fix that problem. Should we go? Nope. The putty? Nope. Why not? Always be ready to improvise. Let me see this. We'll just use this beam yeah. instead of this. Oh, I also cut it a bit shorter. Yeah. Like, look, take a look at what I'm doing. Like about that much shorter. I'm not actually going to cut this right now. I'll just cut. Maybe a, an inch, not an inch, um, two millimeters, or try to get as close to that as you could. Right here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, just work from here up. And I'll cut this off and then I'll make a new thing. So, I, I guess we're going to be making three totem poles. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just use a different medium instead of Sculpey or paper clay. Maybe we'll just go with paper clay because we do have a lot of that because the other clays we have do require oven time. Wish I would have thought of that. Yeah. I'm glad you did, though. I yeah. must be getting old. Mm, I mean, you could use my actual favorite, and now is my favorite type of clay or putty or whatever you want to call it. But we don't. I don't want to. There's not enough of that. Blue stuff, uh, green stuff. Yeah, blue stuff. The mold stuff. Is <laughs> yeah, no, we're not doing. Kenny, we're not doing that. I, you really. Why do you keep confusing that? You know, I don't know. It's good. You're not from from Greece or something. I don't forget that has to do with the price of tea in China. Oh, it's, it, no, it's because, remember when I said that ancient, a lot of ancient societies didn't have the color blue oh, and they oh. just saw it as another shade of green? Gotcha, gotcha, I remember. That was from our, 
even what? though it's kind of the opposite. But what so. video was that from? I don't remember. I don't remember when we mentioned that, or when I mentioned that. So in both cases, we're going to take our clay of choice and wrap it around the beams and disguise the fact that there's a wooden beam there. Yes. And then I will work on butchering some rubber animals. Yes. Unfortunately, animals will be harmed in the filming of this video. They're not real animals, no. Yeah. I was trying to use that joke because, you know, I'm a dad and that's what we do. Oh! I'm also going to be placing a little... Makes you think it should be a bit shorter than this. Okay. I'm also going to be placing a little sort of uh, sacrificial bowl here to collect the uh, blood or beating hearts or what have you in front of the pole. Also, I have some water here because I think that's probably needed. This clay is a little dry, but either way, when you're wor especially with paper clay, I notice that if you get it wet, it, it sticks to whatever you're working with just a little bit better. It does make it take a little bit longer to dry, but you know, this is this is not going to be technically a quick craft. None of our crafts have been quick since the first two. Wasn't didn't we do one a while ago that was actually quick? Don't I, I forget which one it was. I know we did one that was actually kind of technically quick, but I don't remember what it was. Not the golems, not the and the golems are kind I of... I think it was even this month. The... What did we do? Uh, we did the brain, but I wouldn't classify that as quick. No. The mine, that's definitely not a quick one. This is the issue with only having... What was that? That's the issue with only having three animals, is I need to make it a lot shorter. Oh, okay. You could always add a fourth animal. Well, I, I, don't, I can't think of any. And just, just for informational purposes, uh, for the most part, we tried to scale these to be about 18 feet tall using uh, standard... Oh, uh, really? Is that how tall they usually were? Uh, I, I'm, I was just guessing. I, I, I've i seen them different heights, but I wouldn't think that they're more you than 20. you think that this is okay? That, that's... I, I'm not sure if you're... You're, don't forget, you got to leave at least about a centimeter below the foam core. Oh, I forgot about that. The uh, I, I was trying to scale them to about to be about three times the height of roughly a thirty millimeter, twenty eight millimeter miniature. Uh, I think I used a Reaper miniature, uh, kind of a tall uh, humanoid character to, to to scale them to. Not wanting to make something super, super tall. Mine might actually be done tonight. Except for drying time. Perhaps. Uh, do you think if there's the centimeter that this isn't good enough? Whatever the centimeter is? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I was just trying to give you as much, you know, height, you know, as possible to work with. Uh, considering, you know, the the, so the, the, the that bird that you're going to put on top. Which line am I looking at? Because you've got like 20 lines there. This is the oh, line. Oh, I'm looking the, at the, these, these This is the top of the bird. Or if the, you think you can sculpt the, the heads, so to speak, in that limited space, then... It doesn't seem that limited to me. Okay. that's For me, that's why I'm going with a little taller, even though I know that it, I'm just leaving room for for some, you know, mystic ruins or engravings in the, in the front of the, the, the overall structure. Uh, I'm going to go online and look for some, some symbols of some sort, some sort of Cthulhu type ruins that might be carved into this ancient monolith. Too much of an air pocket in here because then when I go to write the runes on there, it might crack more. I do want this to crack a little to make it look more aged. Yeah, 
but you know, I, I believe it or not, I actually got the inspiration for this particular piece from a Cthulhu story written by, believe it or not, uh, Robert E. Howard, who's more famous for his Conan novels, but I have a book, um, I forget what it's called, but it's, it's basically a book of Robert E. Howard's stories that tie into Cthulhu, because, like I was telling the little guy a couple of times, that apparently H.P. Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard were, were good friends, and Conan is apparently canon for the H.P. Lovecraft well, technically, universe. Technically, I don't think canon and, is a very well, right. well-defined thing there. But basically, I, I don't know what, another word to use, but they're basically part of the same multiverse, if Originally. you will. Originally? Yes. Um, some people might not be thrilled with that notion, but personally, seeing as how they're two of my you know, top ten favorite writers of all time, that, that, that kind of makes me happy thinking that, you know, some of the critters that Conan was fighting in, in the old uh, Savage Sword of Conan magazines and things like that were, you know, spawns of Cthulhu or Pasture or, you know, whoever. No, Pasture was only briefly mentioned in official books he wrote. Check you out. We always, we always got a, a kick out of it because uh, where we lived in... in Growing up, uh, my friends and I who played Dungeons and Dragons, and we first, when we finally first got our hands on the uh, Deities and Demigods book way back in the old days, Pastor was clearly depicted as, you know, sort of an enemy of Cthulhu. But we actually lived near a street called Pastor. And uh, why? Why did we? I, I don't know. I, I think it was spelt a little bit differently, but, you know, we always. Uh, would joke that, you know, because you're not supposed to say Haster's name, that, you know, we would, you know, instead of saying the street name, we would say the, the street that cannot be named. You know, it was, it was good for us, it was, you know, amusing to say the least. What effects look okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Aside from how this is very bent. Yeah, uh, I, I figured you'd do the wood engraving. Stuff after you actually design yeah, your no, faces. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of see yeah. if I could T test it out the, the test, Yeah, test it out. But one thing I'm not too thrilled about is how uneven it is, but then I realized I already solved that issue. Oh, really? How'd you do that? Oh, <laughs> once again. Yeah. Improvisation. You know, I don't think I'm going to actually need to worry about the top so much because. I'm going to be gluing some rubber monsters up there. And yes, I will actually super glue the rubber monsters to this wet surface uh, because I found it actually will hold uh, onto the wet clay or even dry clay, semi-dry clay, I should say. It's not going to be completely, perfectly dry clay. Yeah. Um, but it does actually hold, and it makes things a lot easier when manipulating it. It doesn't... I'm trying to make it triangular, but not... I don't want it perfectly obelisk shaped because I want this to look like... Basically, like, uh, in the story, uh, it was more or less sculpted by, you know, cavemen, Neanderthals, or something like that. Neanderthals. Yeah, whatever. They were, they were tall. I will give you that. Hmm. Right. Yes, you're, you're funny. You're funny. Yeah. I know, I am such a comedic old genius. Yeah, I mean. And here I thought they came here to see your, your handsome face, but no, it's your comedic genius that yes. brings in the subscribers and viewers as your reputation has spread so far and wide. For making. People laugh. Wait till they see your, your home videos. What do you mean home videos? You know, your other projects. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be working. One of these days, we will feature some of his, his uh, other videos that he, he works on. I am actually somewhat proud of some of them. <laughs> yes, we're not talking home movies from when he was four. 
uh, because that would just embarrass him. Uh, Don't even. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I know how I was when I was a kid and my parents tried to embarrass me. That was, that was worse than being grounded or, you know, uh, losing privileges. The uh, embarrassment is, is, is not a good feeling. Okay, let me take a look at that from this angle. Oh, I don't like that bump right there. I'm also going to do the rune carving on the front face of it later, but I will try to get the bowl in there. I'm just going to try and whip up a quick clay sort of receptacle for the beating hearts and blood and sacrifices that the cavemen sacrificed to... I didn't know that apparently uh, there was a medical surgery or treatment or whatever uh, that involved just carving into someone's skull with a rock. That, that doesn't sound like it would be very pleasant. Uh, yeah, they wanted to release the spirits. <laughs> yeah, they're releasing something. It's called blood. Yeah, yeah, pretty gross. Very, very weird things people did in the old days. Yes. So this is a little harder than I thought. Maybe it's a little too late. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait until my hands and the clay is a little drier. So let's move on to the butchering of rubber animals. I don't know if you saw these before, but I think I'm also going to have to glue the tentacles down. But let's see. That's looking. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought I'd show them. That, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. Turn it around. I'm, so not, I'm not done. Okay. Oh, okay. I, get, I get the sneak previews. Okay. So, on to me chopping off a bat head, pretending I'm Ozzy Osbourne. Why? That's just because when I was a kid, that was a, a thing. No, why? What does that have to do with cutting uh, off a bat head? Because Ozzy Osbourne supposedly was, well, he was a musician back in the day who was... He was so, yeah, he was supposedly... <laughs> yeah, a allegedly, a he, was, he made no, music. He was an actual musician. Um, I don't know if he actually played the instruments, but uh, supposedly he uh, had a bat thrown up to him on stage one evening, and he thought it was a rubber bat, or that's how the story I heard goes. A life bat? It, well, it was a dead bat, but he still proceeded to bite the head off it. Bite? Bite. I'm not even joking about that part. He bit the head off the bat, and hey, guess what? We've got a bat head we can save for something else. Not sure what, but <clears throat> we'll, we'll have that around for something, and I'll clip off these little feet. And I'll we'll try and clip off some of his stomach. Just to make it more flush with the back of the clay, even though it will probably fit pretty pretty smoothly, just melting it into the clay, but just in case, let's see. Okay. Ready, ready to show them off your first face? Yes. <clears throat> it is a Cane, no. Um, what animal is that going to be? <clears throat> a deer. Really? No. Okay, because I thought you said something else earlier. And I'm like, why did he say he was going to do this, but now he's doing that? Okay. No, what, what animal is it? Um, a mammal. Oh, come on, don't keep him hanging. Um, mm, they're supposed to be trying to what do What animals something. are there in any of the Well, it's either a bear them? or a really sad dog. <laughs> Neither. Oh, okay. It's the wolf? Yes. Okay. A very sad wolf. Uh, I really just uh, I looked up pictures and there was one that had...
you were saying pictures of? And they had eyes like that, and oh, another okay. had eyes the other way. Oh, okay. And I don't remember what animal it was. Okay. Just trying to get up <clears throat> as much of the plastic as I can. Well, it's probably not really necessary, but I just think it might also stick better. I do like the, the bat arms. This is just you a... mean wings? Well, no, these, whatever these things are, these... Yeah, they're called, they're called part well, of the wings. Well, they look like arms. But. Well, they're part of the wings. Look at from my angle. What do you think, Spark? What do you think? Okay, open and from behind. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I still think that you should remove all the fur effect because I don't think Neanderthals, as you called them, would have that kind of skill. Yeah. I may just uh, overpaint it to get rid of that. Also, weren't Neanderthal weren't Neanderthals in the snow? In the snow? Not not always. Well, in the northern regions. I'm not really sure. I wonder if I still have that book I used to have on cavemen. Why would you no longer have it? Oh, because I, I, my dad got it for me when I was younger than you are now. And uh, I, I tried hanging on to it for, you know, many years. And it might not be in my box of old, old books. Also, I highly doubt Neanderthals would have to reasons to build this something like tat. Well that's that's what makes it creepy is you know, it, it could have been the the deep ones could have done it. Le or, aliens. Or or anything. Just, you know, I want it to look very, very old before like true humans walk the earth type of thing. In most of the cathedrals. So the monkeys. Sort of, the monkeys. Oh I'm getting super glue. Running, well, super glue is running down the back side, but that's okay. But I'm just about done. Yeah. Oh. Well, I have to wait for the super glue and the clay to dry before I can glue the tentacles to the stones. What's going to be the stone obelisk? Now I'm going to go back to working on the clay bowl while you finish up those heads. There's a little bit of drier clay. Maybe that'll work better for the bowl. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I would like it to be at least round. Maybe I should start with a ball. Okay, so it's not turning into a ball, it's turning into a dragon egg. The most useful terrain piece to have 20 of them. Yeah, I think I just need a little bit more. By yeah. the way, uh, one, uh, I guess, hint to my extra credit thing. I may or may not have made one extra, uh, one extra credit thing for every type of craft that I've done before. Okay. I've done a lot this month. Extra credit? Yeah. Well, I know you made the big metal thing. I made a metal thing. I made a living thing. And I made a, a, diff a separate living thing. And I made a third living thing. I'm good at... Speaking, I actually just don't give that hands on. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wait until the Sunday show off show, which I think will be May 2nd or May 3rd. Also, uh, one other thing one of them is a remake of a previous craft. Not gonna say if that craft was extra credit or uh, official craft. I'm actually gonna cut part of that off so it sits better.
What is the fuzzy guy doing over there? I don't know. Feeding the dog. What do you think? Look at the ball. Oh. Um, it could be more bowl shaped. Yeah. And as always, I'll probably paint this off camera. Although I may do it, I may actually paint this this week while he's working on the dragon. By the way, the reason I was okay with having mine be mainly sculpting is because it's mainly just basic shapes. Uh -huh. Which, in my opinion, anyone should be able to do. Mm -hmm. Well, they've been watching you do your magic here. Well, that looks really good. You haven't done the eyes yet. Why is the dog being a dog? Uh, well, because he's jealous and wants to be in another video. And but his contract only allows him once a month, and he's already been in a video this Which one? Uh, it was an early one. Was it a craft? Uh, I don't think so. Was it a review? I think it was. Was it Shadow's Room Show? I think it was. Really? Yes. Uh, we but can always wasn't go back. he off camera? Maybe, but I'm not 100% well, sure about it. his contract still has not expired. Or no. not expired, but... Well, then maybe he can be in the Sunday video after I've gone through all the videos for the month and see... Oh, if so we're just going to let him in? Maybe, if he hasn't been in. Oh, you well, actually want him to be in a no, video? No, I don't, but I'm a man of my word. If I say he gets once a month, then, you know, he gets okay. once a month. Mm. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> well, we'll wait till the very end and, you know, during the goodbye section of the video, we'll just call him up to the table. And, you know, okay, I guess. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. I'm fine. For those of you new to the channel, he, he has managed to sneak into at least, well, I want to say about a half a dozen of our videos. For some reason, he seems to know it's that It's starting with the... Uh, our video on the sci-fi stretch goals. Right, he, he sort of figures we're doing something different. And By the way, a continuation of that will be coming next month. Yes, we... Guaranteed. We, we know our Dungeons and Lasers will be here, and we will be doing quite a few Dungeons and Lasers videos next month. Yes. And usually, more than likely on our Tuesday and videos. Also, yeah, Tuesday videos are usually for anything else. Also, uh, I have a feeling that we might actually get a Dungeons and Lasers video. The, uh, the next part of our Dungeons and Lasers review might be this month if we're lucky. Yeah, I think so. And for all of those of you who have yet to receive your Dungeons and Lasers, trust me, just be patient, guys. They always come through. They've been. They've been wonderful to us, and I'm sure they'll be wonderful to you guys. They, they're the best new company out there in the gaming world, in my opinion. And their, their, their products are worth waiting for. I, you know, I know we're all impatient, and we all want. We want I just to realized. What? Just, uh, no, no, no. It looks fine. No, uh, I just don't want to make something. But... No, okay. Well. It uh, looks really good. Show? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Show, show the camera. I think it looks great. These are the two I've made so far. You I have really... the large snouted animal above the small snouted animal. Uh -huh. They're basically the same thing. Yeah. Just eyes reversed, and one has a longer snout, and one has a... Rounder nose? No, like the, the snout. It's, they're technically the same length, but that's just because this one's scaled up. That's really looking good. I... I, I, I... Wouldn't have known where to start with that. Well, I mean, I've been working with cooking clay for 15 years? No. Um, <laughs> no, uh, probably, to be honest, probably nine years. Yeah, yeah. That's not even an exaggeration. I started when I was like, what? Three. No, not three. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I should, uh, I think, like, what, 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 what
Get Anyways, uh, I should probably continue working on the bird. Yes, because I'm just about done. I'm going to start Wait, putting maybe my stuff away. Maybe nine or ten years? I don't remember. But I've been working with Quinn Clay for a long time. He was about three years old. No, we started, we started I was, out... I think st- I was four or five. Well, you started out with modeling clay. Yeah, who cares? Who cares yeah, about well, modeling that, clay? Uh, you I, can make decent stuff with modeling clay, but it's never permanent. That's true, unfortunately, but I do really like modeling clay. As a kid, it was it was one of my favorite things to, to you know, play with for a long time. I remember as far back as kindergarten, we had one of those... Uh, you know, classroom giveaway things, you know, where everybody buys yeah, a, a secret remind, Santa. You just reminded me. We'll continue story though. Uh, yeah, we had a secret Santa, and it was literally in kindergarten, and I got a box of modeling clay, and I played with that more than any of the other toys I got for Christmas that year, all through Christmas vacation, and, uh, you know, I, I just love this stuff. It was, it was, you know, it was before I had Legos, let's put it that way. Did you remind me? In my kindergarten, um, for some reason we had this thing, um, because kindergarten, at least from my experience, yeah. it was incredible. It's weird looking back, because I remember thinking, because of one of my friends, he was going to second, no, he was going to third grade, I think, and I was just thinking, and he was talking about how he needed to, so can you stop barking? I, it's rather inconsiderate of you. Um, he, he, he sounds walking by our house and it's and, illegal yeah it, walking it, it, is is a yeah. heinous crime it's actually one of the worst yeah. crimes that human can commit any of you guys who have small dogs know that if they hear anything walking by their front of their house they just they go nuts and they try to scare that thing away and of course they can't hear him but he can hear them so he's he's doing his job protecting us yeah, it's just it's rather inconsiderate. You know, do the wings off camera? Yeah, also. That's probably, fine. Probably it's not going to be, it doesn't need to be that big. Yeah. I was going to do the full bird because some of them actually have the full bird. Right, but. I don't want the full bird. Really looks good. Yeah. I do think that... Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, For some reason, we had this thing where after you finished your assignment, and your assignment was color in this object. Uh-huh. And there was A, B, C objects. It's like, color that one in. Um, and that, that was the assignments. Um, and we had these homework shows where just do this very simple task and it was so weird actually starting because it's like oh my god we need to do things after school but it's how everything works um but then i remember my friend came over and he was saying how he needs to turn in the homework every single day and i'm like what how could how can i in my freaking five-year-old voice was I couldn't comprehend the idea of turning in your work the same the day after you get it. My br- I my my very um my very smooth brain just couldn't comprehend that idea. And then you found out about homework. No, I already knew, but I just couldn't comprehend the idea of turning it in the day after. I physically couldn't comprehend it. You gonna do the beak now? Yes, I'm. Gonna, I've been doing the beak, okay. or I've been working on the beak, but it's kind of hard to not. You want me to hold it? No, it's kind of hard to not get in the way. Also, you need to smooth it out first. Careful you don't squish the eyes there. I did. Uh, allergies, not good. I just like them. You want you want a tissue? You can blow your nose off camera? Eh, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Anyways... Finish what it's, you're doing, cause I'm I'm done, buddy. Oh, you are. I'm done. Yeah. I, okay. I just need to make a a beak and some eyes. Yes. And then I'll cut off the top, and then you can like cover the, the top of the thing with like feathers or something. 
Are you going to do, uh, well, you're going to do the wings off camera. Um, check you out. He's already got this all down. I've been, I've been doing this for over 11, either 11, 10, or over 9 years. Kids. Better at it than me. I, 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 I made a, a, you know, well, anyways, I'm not going to say. But, yeah. Huh? It, it, it doesn't compare to yours, buddy. I mean, it... it. Ah, actually, well, it's better. <laughs> Thanks. That's not... No, I, uh, the only reason... Because it's got the squid head? Perhaps. <laughs> no, I've just never been... A, well, it's, it's a bit better than some of the other things that could have been compared. Well, considering, you know, I, I kind of, you know, pushed you into doing the totem pole where I got to do the uh, what I thought was the funner one, but... Our skills are our skill sets are a little bit different from each yeah, other. Yeah, I did actually really enjoy making this. However, what I'm going to enjoy more is next month when I am actually able to start making a lot more things without um, me not wanting to because I I like being very organized yet at the same time being not at all organized. Uh, you'll understand what that. Uh, anyways, uh, you'll understand what that means in the showcase. That was the issue. I can't wait to see that painted. It's going to look really cool. I just hope I don't mess it up when I try to cut off the excess wood. Oh, yeah. But now we've got to make something with this one. Can't just let this go to waste. I mean, we could just use it as a, 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 a burn a witch at the stake. Stake. Was there a joke there? Yeah, this right here. Oh, I was thinking how we could just tie a, a a witch to it and make it look, you know, build build one of your little uh, glue gun fires and put somebody, you know, tied to the stake. That wouldn't fit this month. No, it wouldn't. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Sticking it into the clay to let it dry and stand up straight. Dry. I mean, yeah, just. This isn't metal pot or green yeah, stuff. Right. Watch almost knock that out. Uh, until we hook it up to the whatever, we we got to put it on something so that it doesn't. You know, the, the, I can. So it doesn't lay flat in the oven is what I'm talking about. I can waste if I want to call it that this piece. Yeah, just something to keep it standing up straight. So when it's in the oven, it doesn't lay flat. Yeah, because that would ruin the back part. Let's turn it to the camera. Get one last glamour shot for it. And I do actually like this. Thanks, buddy. Um, I yeah, like the I think concept would, more than that. I think it would look better with a frog. I think it would have looked better with all three animals. Well, maybe maybe next year we'll revisit it. I mean, we have a lot of craft to think we can revisit. It. Yeah, next year. But for now, it's been a little bit of a long video. We're going to say goodnight. It is a school night for the little guy. Yes. And we've got a busy weekend ahead. It is head Thursday's work. We hope you guys have a phenomenal weekend. We're, uh, we're going to be really busy. And we will return Sunday with a not exactly painting video because we're going to be basing the dragon. Uh, well, the, he's going to be painting, I think. Yeah, I'll paint something, um, whether it's the brain in a jar or this obelisk or something. I, I'll paint something while he glues stuff to the base. Yes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend. We will see you guys soon. Yes.